You're probably wondering, why am I looking to a bunch of islands? Well, it was easy for you to identify these pictures as islands. I mean, it's simple, right? It's an area of land completely surrounded by a body of water, as in a lake, ocean, river, etc. By this means, it should be then simple to ask how many islands are on Earth. Hmm. Huh. That's not actually a simple question. Why? Simply because of the type of body water that exists and what to be considered exactly as an island. For example, would you consider this as an island? I mean, in theory it has the characteristics of an island, as I told you. But yeah, it's just a small rock with a small portion of it above the water surface. But hey, we're talking about small portions of land. There are thousands, if millions on Earth, for people to argue about if they should be considered islands or not. And what about the opposite? What about large portions of land? Well, usually people only argue about this case in particular, Australia. And today we'll explore this topic, geographers of the world. Should Australia be considered an island or a continent? If you have ever slightly explored geography, maps, or talk about world traveling, you've probably faced this problem somewhere, or at least you heard someone talk about it. Australia is big. I mean, really big. You can see by yourself while I'm putting Australia land over other countries' territory. For example, here you have over the mainland USA. Look how massive it is. But science brings the issue. Is it too big to be considered as an island? Well, kind of. While digging through the internet, I found this graphic in Wikipedia showing the different perspectives of how should continents be divided and in every single one of them, Australia is there. As a continent. In my opinion, Australia has what is necessary to be classified as a continent. Even better, a microcontinent, because in reality, it has half the size of the smallest of the continents, Antarctica. But should we call this continent, I mean, Microcontinent, Australia. Isn't there a better designation? Because when you talk about Australia, then you'll be referring to the country and the continent. And there are also other lands to be classified in this continent, and that includes islands from other nations, for example, its neighbors, the Kiwis. Let's then see the other term that a lot of people talk about, Oceania. It doesn't refer to a specific country, and most people easily identify the location of this continent. Oceania is described as the land of the Pacific, including Australia and the regions of Melanesia, Polynesia and Micronesia. So, Oceania is a region composed of a microcontinent, other relatively large islands and some smaller ones. Isn't this closer to the definition of a continent than the word Australia is? Well, actually it isn't. And that's the reason for people not to use it more. To better understand this, we must explore the meaning of continent. Let's see the dictionary again. The word continent comes from the Latin terra continens, meaning connected land. And in English, it now refers to a large landmass, which may or may not include islands connected with by an undersea continental shelf. By this definition, Oceania is not a continent, because it is not connected by one of these undersea continental shelves between the several regions. So, in conclusion, and in my opinion, the term Australia to refer as a continent isn't the most correct one. And for me, Oceania isn't too. Because you're just trying to mix in a bowl things that cannot quite fit in other places. If you want to know, I'll keep saying Oceania, because between both, I prefer this term. Even though I know it's not a correct one. Though you think it will ever be a consensus about this topic, I hardly believe but let's see what the future has to offer. That's it, geographers of the world. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Well, leave a like and subscribe, because all your support is very important. See you in the next top, geographers of the world.